Welcome to the landscaping series. Today we will be mowing a few residential lawns. We'll be heading over to the shop this morning in our 2016 Chevy 1500. Today we will be using the Xmark Laser Z along with the 2020 F250 and the single axle utility trailer. I'm really excited that spring is here because we have officially started up our mowing services. We will be mowing all of our clients every single week. We have just around a 45 to 50 lawn uh, clients. So far I've really been enjoying this 2016 Silverado. I really do like the look of it, especially here in the dark blue. And I do have that big 6.2 liter V8, which is awesome. Really do like uh, the V8s in the pickup trucks. Within the next week, week and a half, we will be moving to the new landscaping shop and the new map. I'm very excited for it. Now, the shop is a brand new shop that just got released uh, within the last week. And I did make some custom edits to it, some cool things. And I cannot wait to kind of reveal and start making videos on the new map. Now I still am planning uh, for a map name, so if anyone has any cool ideas, let me know. This will be our first job here with a 2020 F-250. This is a XL crew cab long bed, pretty much uh, a work truck uh, spec uh, being as cheap as possible. We're taking the Laser Z because it has the 72 inch deck and the uh, two residential lawns we are doing today are a bit big and I really want to kind of be as efficient as possible and taking the big 72 inch deck with us is going to be really helpful. Now I am always looking for new zero turns, new mowers and hopefully uh, we could get some new ones in the game soon. We'll get this loaded up here, it's a tight fit being just ha how wide uh, the 72 inches but it should fit no problem it's a tight squeeze only a few inches on either side but we got it perfect uh, this is one awesome setup we do have I really do like this trailer it's just enough uh, to possibly fit another uh, stand on or even a push mower but this uh, F-250 just looks so so nice If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day sneak peeks and cool updates on uh, the channel and cool things that I'm working on. Now here on the Nebraska lands map, there is a few problems I've noticed with the map. All of this grass here is town grass, which is not mowable. So every time I want to do a lawn care video, I actually have to convert all of the grass over. And that is something that I have noticed and takes quite a bit of time to do. So I'm also very excited for the new map because I have already uh, kind of made the grass all mowable. But here it is, guys. It's a pretty big property we have to mow. There's a few passes on this side and a pretty big back backyard as well. Now these uh, zero turns take a bit of uh, extra time to start up but that's okay. I've been doing mowing here on the channel for a very long time. I just really do enjoy mowing and I uh, can't wait to continue it here uh, with FS19 especially on that new map. The new map is designed for lawn care uh, landscaping but it is also designed for farming and I just can't wait uh, to farm. Now we are mowing right here on the property line, but I am trying to make sure that we don't shoot any of the grass onto the neighbors or onto our uh, customer's driveway. Especially uh, if the grass is a bit damp, uh, we don't want to leave stains all over that will not be a professional look.
Now I have noticed that sometimes it is a bit tricky mowing here in this game uh, with a few things if uh, the mower is bouncing around a little. It sometimes doesn't want uh, to kind of mow around and hopefully uh, we don't run into any of those problems and let's see if we can mow around back. And we cannot kind of squeeze through there. Sometimes having the big mower like this is tricky, but I really do like it. That was just so much faster to mow with. Now this season I do want to do some real life lawn care videos. I think that would be a pretty cool thing here for the channel. And I just want to kind of do a lot more uh, real life videos in general. Let me know down below in the comments guys, what is your favorite zero turn that uh, we have here on the channel? Now I definitely want to kind of get some skag mowers, we don't have any. And that is one mower that's on my list uh, for us to get. I'm not sure exactly why these mowers are bouncing around here. It could be because of the uh, grass uh, style, but hopefully we can get that worked out because that's definitely not too realistic and it's a pretty bumpy ride as is uh, going uh, kind of towards the uh, higher uh, speed that the mower ha uh, can handle. From the looks of it, time-wise, we will probably only be able to finish uh, this one here. It's a pretty big lawn that we do have to mow, but that's kind of also why I do like doing these bigger ones. That means we charge a little bit more, and we don't have to drive all around town all day long. And that's something uh, with lawn care, you really want to have all of your houses as close as they can, so that instead of driving around, you're mowing and making money. Now, I think also the uh, grasshopper would be uh, pretty good for... Uh, this uh, property just because of how big that is as well. And I'm not sure if that is mobile grass there. It is tricky having to kind of go through and kind of convert all the grass. But I really do like the Nebraska Williams map. Really uh, uh, enjoyed and definitely made some awesome videos here. But I'm also excited uh, for the new map. Now when we move the landscaping series to the new map, we will be a bit more realistic. We'll have a few less uh, trucks, a little bit uh, less equipment as well, probably one or two skid steers at most, and I really just want to kind of be a little bit more realistic with uh, what we have, a much smaller fleet of equipment, and I think that would be uh, pretty good as well.
Although I enjoy having all the equipment, having all the different brands, I think uh, you guys would also like it to be as realistic as possible. Now, I do strive for that uh, with my gameplay, almost kind of a role play, and I really want to do a landscaping server this uh, summer. I think that would be awesome. Now we do have to get a working weed eater here in the game. I think that would be incredible if we could get one that works. We could pick up, uh, put on the trailer, uh, have it uh, kind of go around without it kind of having problems. The previous ones we did have here in the game worked, but they did uh, kind of cause a lot of headaches and that's really why I never ended up using them. Now, most of us are not in school, which is pretty awesome, so let me know what you, have you guys been doing uh, during this uh, time off. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and playing a lot of farming simulator. And that's it here for this property, a big, big mo that we did, but uh, let's kind of head back to the shop and grab a bite to eat for lunch. I will have to say the uh, 2020 does look good as the base model looks so, uh, so cool. Really do like it a lot and definitely uh, we'll be uh, trying to get some more base model trucks here in the game. It's pretty realistic though for a company uh, to buy a base model instead of buying a fully loaded uh, 70 plus thousand dollar truck. Now for the lawn care section of our landscaping company, I think that I really want to get an enclosed trailer just to kind of keep the mowers in there and I think uh, that will be the game plan uh, to also free up some room there in the shop. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care video, getting to use the Xmark Laser Z, the utility trailer, the 2020 Ford, and the 2016 Silverado. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more. Yeah.